What is this? The bottom is falling out in our southeast division. These are very hard times, Mr. Spencer. I don't need you to state the obvious, Ursula. I need you to come up with a strategy to get back on market share. We're working on it. Work harder. I want to plan on my desk this afternoon. Yes, sir. Oh, Stephanie, uh, what's your Logan Chronicle for today? I don't have one for today, Ursula. Oh. Well, well, well. I wondered if I'd be seeing you today. Liar, liar, liar. You knew I would be here. Yes, to save your precious Eric, no doubt. You need to give it up, Stephanie. I hold all the cards. I don't need you anymore. Game's over. So this is all just a game to you? And I'm having a ball. Well, let me caution you that you're heading down a dangerous path. Dangerous for Eric. I don't know what it is you've got in your head. It's all speculation, though, believe me. And you're dead wrong. Dead wrong, am I? Huh. Well, I guess that's good news for you, right? Since you're so certain nothing ever happened, so positive that your dear ex-husband never hired undocumented workers. You do know it's a crime. Nothing happened. I saw you sweat last night. I think it did. What you saw was a woman who realized she'd made a mistake getting involved with you. And here I had such high hopes for you as a co-conspirator. <laughs> well, now I'm just going to have to play the game a little differently. Since you won't give me what I'm after, I'll have to go out and find it. There's nothing to find out. Who's lying now? You better be very careful. Don't start throwing allegations around that you can't prove, because that is slander. You know, and you will be prosecuted. I like you. I get a kick out of you. Here, Eric is staring a prison cell straight in the face, and you're threatening me with prosecution. <laughs> Eric is not at risk. Look, what you've done is, out of the air, grab some innocuous remark that I made, and you're trying to turn it into a federal case. There's nothing to go on. Then I'll find it. There's nothing to find if out. If there was nothing to find out, you wouldn't be standing here trying to convince me not to pursue it. In fact, with every word that comes out of your mouth, you convince me that I need to dig a little deeper. Look, I don't... <laughs> if you want to waste your time and energy, you go right ahead. I can't stop you. Maybe that's your problem. Maybe you have too much time on your hands. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have too much time on my hands. Maybe that's why I want forced to creation so badly I can taste it. And I will have the company, Stephanie. It's just a question of whether or not I have to send Eric to jail to get it. Over my dead body. Don't make promises you won't keep. Oh, it's not a promise. It's a threat. And don't get ahead of yourself, Junior. <laughs> hey, boss, uh, you sounded urgent on the phone. Some big project you have to... Jared, yes, come on in. You've covered the Forrester family for Spencer Publications for years. It's fair to say that they think of you as one of their most trusted press contacts, right? Yes, I think that's fair to say. I'm doing a, a little, uh, little research on their history. Are you aware of, I don't know, any transgressions that Eric may have been involved in with regard to his employees? No, nothing. Um, not since I've been around. He, he's above reproach. Oh. Yeah, of course he is. 
Would you mind taking a look at something for me? Tell me what you think. A warm, generous heart can cloud one's decisions. And in business, that can lead to trouble. Professionally, politically, even legally. Well, he is a very kind man, it's true. Uh, well thought of by his employees. He's often gone to bat for them when needed. Mm. What do you know about the Forester employees? Uh, showers, cutters, tailors, maintenance staff? Not much. Most of them are foreign, right? Uh, well, that's true of almost any fashion house. Oh, I suppose it is. But in Eric's case, I think he may not have always been on the up and up with the law. Do you have proof of this? No. No, I don't. That's where you come in. You're going to find it for me. Got the information you wanted. It's about time. Let's get at it. You know, I'm really not comfortable with this. Going after Eric Forrest. Jared, if Eric has done anything wrong, there won't be a problem. If he has, he needs to be held accountable. Now, what do you have? Right. Well, I used my sources to get as much information as I could on Forrester employees, past and present. Through some uh, special connections, I was actually able to access a detailed database of Forrester records. Great, let's get started. And do what, exactly? Verify citizenship. We're looking for a needle in a haystack. Uh-huh. And if we find it, it'll be well worth it. So that's my proposal. Every Forester employee has a social security number. Everything looks legit. Well, this isn't getting us anywhere. You know what? Give me a name. Just give me a name. Pick one. Uh, Bobby Gavieres. Bobby Gavieres. All right. I'm going to Google him. Now we're down to LA. Bobby Guerrieras, born August 13th, 1959, in Downey, California, went to Downey High School, played soccer, blah, blah, blah. Same guy, same address, same birth date. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bobby Guerrieras died years ago. A multi-car pileup on the Santa Monica Freeway. He is very dead. But then how... Eric Forrester. You sneaky little... That's how he does it. Eric gives his illegal employees the names of dead U.S. citizens. Identity theft of dead people. Just the proof I need to bring him to his knees. I've got him. Either he sells me for or creations on my terms, or he goes to prison for a long, long time. That doesn't justify you lashing out like that, spewing contempt on this website of yours, degrading my wife and her family on your infantile okay, Logan okay, Chronicles. Okay, Eric. I didn't see it playing out this way. All right. Hello? I was right. About what? I have everything I need. Tell him you better be prepared to hand over Forrester Creations to me on my terms, or he won't like the consequences. And Stephanie, you're no man.